Okay, right now I'm speaking with? Charles Ogletree, Harvard Law School. Okay, tell us a little bit about yourself, Doctor. I'm a native of California, went to Stanford, uh, undergrad, Harvard Law School, been a lawyer for 40 years, and we worked with Reverend Sharpton for most of that time, and very happy to be here at National Action Network today. Okay, we're here at the National Action Network, and you're promoting a new book. Tell us about your book. The new book is called The Presumption of Guilt, The Arrest of Henry Louis Gates Jr. and Race, Class, and Crime in America. It's about his arrest last July 2009, and about how the police arrested a man in his own home. Uh, and the goal is not just to talk about Gates, but so many black men all over the country and over the world who find themselves being profiled by police. So the, this book is a reminder, it's not just what happens in the suites to the wealthy, but what happens on the streets every day to those without power, without opportunity. And so the idea is a rallying call for all of us to not tolerate racial profiling, to fight against it, and make sure that we end it whatever way we can. Okay, and you also brought to Today, the National Action Network, a special guest. Tell us about that guest. Dr. Olivia Hooker is 95 years old. She was in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1921 on May 31st when the Black Wall Street, as it was known, uh, was the victims of a race ride where black families had their homes destroyed, their businesses destroyed, hotels, restaurants, churches were all destroyed because of a race ride of whites against blacks. And she and others have been with me as we filed a lawsuit on their behalf that did not succeed in the federal courts, but thank God for John Conyers, because now Congress is introducing legislation to give these victims a chance to go back to court to get their reparations, what they lost 89 years ago. And that's what we're committed to doing. Okay, uh, the name of my program is called Dreams and Nothing More Than Plans Awaiting Action. What advice would you give someone about following their dreams and their goals as a Harvard professor? The easy is that don't ever give up. Uh, my, uh, my parents are from Alabama and Arkansas. Neither finished high school. People thought they would fail, but they made it possible for children like me to have those chances. I grew up on welfare, grew up in poverty, but that doesn't mean that you can't dream big and imagine great things happening. If you do that and God is in your life, things will happen for you. Okay, uh, may I have permission to put this on YouTube? Yes. Okay, is there contact information if someone wanted to find out about the book? Yep. Or, okay. They go to my website, www.charleshamiltonhouston.org. www.charleshamiltonhouston.org. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you.